Uh, hi guys, this is Shobit and in this video we will talk about Kubernetes. So as you already know that Kubernetes is an open source tool for deployment and it provides uh, orchestration for containerization application. So I will set up this into the docker and I'll show you how we can create pods and services also. So uh, first I'll show you what we can do. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to install docker on your machine. So since docker is already up and running on my machine, so it's uh, there. You can see over here in the tray bar. Apart from that, kubectl is also you have to configure on your machine. So kubectl and docker. And uh, after that, you have to right click on this icon over here and go to the setting here in the settings we have kubernetes so we have to click on this enable kubernetes so make sure it should be enabled okay it's, it's fine as of now another thing is we have context so here in the kubernetes you can see the context so for the docker desktop i am using this docker desktop context this is my some uh, aws thing but I will not use this, I will use only docker desktop. So make sure it would be selected on your machine. Okay, so after that what I have to do, I will go into the PowerShell and there are some basic commands so that I can verify whether it's up and running or not. So uh, the command should be something like that, for example in the Kubernetes. Uh, so the command will always start with kubectl ctl get all so it will give me all the resources right so here you can see i have some output so it means cube kubectl is working as well as the kubernetes is also working okay so what i have to do right now i will create um, some deployment and after that i will also create some service so here i uh, I have created a deployment.yml file so in this deployment.yml file this is something which I have so a uh, few things I just want to give you so this is a deployment type as you, as you can see over here and the name should be ordered deployment whatever the name you want to give you can give and the labels labels is very important because uh, services basically work on labels so I specify as an order label and in the spec I specify as I want three replica and uh, the match label should be order label okay so this is the order label it should match and the in the template you can see the template label is also the order label and in the inside the container the container name is order API and the image basically the nginx image i am using for this demo purpose and for the port basically it will use port number 80 so this is the deployment file which i have i also have a service.yml file so straightforward file here you can see it's service type and uh, the selector is basically the order label the selector is important because uh, here in the deployment.yml i have used the same selector and it is on the type of load balancer and my port would be 8083 and it forwarded my request to port number 80 so this is service right so i have deployment i have services i'll not use namespace file because i already have some namespaces inside this so i'll go over here and uh, first what i have to do i will i'll show you few commands so if you want to see all the ports so the command is get kubectl get pod so no sources here you can see we don't have any pod as of now so i'll create i'll set up deployment first so for the kubectl deployment the command is kubectl apply minus f and the file name so my file name is deployment.yml here so you can see deployment has been created okay so once the deployment has been created you can see over here pod so now you can see the pods 
so here you can see the pods and the status is up and running okay since pods are there but uh, i'm not able to access it because i don't have services as of now correct so for the services i need another command the yaml file which i have created is services.yaml here you can see services.yaml does not exist so i need to rename i think it might be services.yaml here you can see services created order services created now i need to look into what uh, what all they have created right so so the command is get all so here we have ports we have services services of load balancer type and the external ip would be local host sorry ip is local host and the port is 8083 so here if you go to the browser and start this port 8083 so you can see nginx is there right so nginx is up and running so basically with the help of this port nginx is giving me a response so service is basically responsible for coordinating to the ports so that's all for this small demo if you have any question concern let me know i'll try to resolve your queries please subscribe my channel if you think it's worthy for you thank you so much for watching this video